Cal Poly just for uh, one quarter. And then I transferred to Cal, and that was really what changed my, my life. I, I went, <laughs> interestingly enough, I went up to Cal after I had registered. I, my father went with me, and he went into San Francisco, and I went to the registrar's office, and they said, oh, we're sorry, you've got a C in Spanish and uh, you have to have better grades in language to get into Cal. But unless somebody signs, uh, we, we can't let you in this semester. But if the chairman of the department signs, uh, you, you know, this will be uh, allowable. So I ran over to see the chairman of the department. I'll never forget this, his name was Leland Vaughn. And he was sitting at his desk. He was a famous landscape architect. And uh, I handed him the paper. He, I told him what the problem was. And he didn't even look up. He signed it. He says, but aren't you Spanish? And you, what happened? I said, well, it wasn't the cool thing to speak Spanish when I was growing up. He always got into a lot of fights. He said, well, you know, I'll sign it. So I ran back and I was admitted to Cal. But that was a very uh, trying time for me. And, my, and so I've told this story many times and it, uh, you know, people don't believe that we didn't speak Spanish in, in the house. You know, my parents were all bilingual, of course, but they never spoke Spanish to us. And we were, we've been in this continent since the 1540s. We came over from Spain, both sides of our family. And uh, so we're very proud of our, our heritage, but uh, Spanish was not something that we went around speaking in, in those days, unless you wanted to get into a fight. This was the beginning of the Korean War, and everybody was being drafted, and I was drafted my senior year. Went into boot camp, and I had the opportunity to go to Officers Candidate School, but I chose not to. And they fortunately sent me to, there were three of us that went to special schools. They sent me to medical school. And so I became a medic and uh, went from there to Fort Benning, Georgia, attached to a tank battalion. And after I was in that uh, area for a few months, uh, a, a jeep drove up and uh, I was running a tank, uh, the, the battalion aid station because there was a shortage of doctors and they asked if Private Trevino was there and I answered and it was a general, one star general and he was driving his jeep with a fluttering red flag, one star on it. And he said, are you Private Trevino? I understand you went to Cal Berkeley and a landscape architect. And I said, yes, sir. And he says, well, I'm the commanding general and I want to improve Fort Benning. Fort Benning is the largest military base in the US. And he said, do you know your plant material? I said, I know it very well. He said, well, hop in the Jeep and let's drive around and tell me what you would do. So we drove around and I told him that I would plant a double row of trees here and I would pull plants out of the forest. There were a lot of liquid ambers that I noticed. And he said, well, what do you need? I said, well, I need access to engineers, surveyors, truck drivers, and uh, and he says, fine. He says, tomorrow you'll be transferred into special service. And you can live in the officer's quarters. You have a sergeant as a driver. You have a Jeep at your disposal. And uh, I didn't know what was happening to me. And it sounded great to me. And so that's what happened the rest of my career. So he said, the general wants to improve all of the uh, officers' facilities in the southeast. That included 
Florida, Georgia, Alabama. And I said, well, let me see if I can find an architect. So I went to the Corps of Engineers, which was a very large area of drafting tables, and I would go in there often asking for surveyors, etc. And I yelled out in the large room, I said, are there any architects here? And one fellow in the back raised his hand, said, I'm an architect. So I walked over to his desk about four rows back, and I said, where did you go to school? He says, USC. And, you know, having gone to Cal Berkeley, I said, well, that's not a very good school. <laughs> and he kind of looked at me, and uh, I said, what's your name? Frank. I said, Frank, we need an architect. Would you like, why, what are you doing in the, now, he says, I'm trying to get a medical discharge because when I put my pants in my boots, I break out with the red, you know, red dots. And I said, no, no. I said, you can be transferred to special service and, and do this work on these uh, officers' facilities. He says, you're not an officer. How can you do that? I said, believe me. I, you can be transferred. So he was transferred. Well, that fellow has been a friend of mine now for all of these 60-some years, and his name today is Frank Gehry, probably the most famous architect in the world. Mm -hmm.